Hello there. Here in this video tutorial, I will be showing you exactly how to use the request to code add-on. Um, so you must have purchased the add-on by now, and uh, the first step would be to download the add-on specifically. Uh, so you want to go on our website and uh, try to edit or try to sign into your account by clicking this icon here and logging in then navigating down to the downloads tab and just downloading the request to code add-on and then coming on your site to install and activate the add-on by clicking plugins add new i have already or done that here on my test site but i'm just going to walk you through the process so you can click on update upload plugin and then choose the file then install and activate right after that it would be uh, very important to activate the license uh, for the add-on so the add-on works adequately so you want to click on the icon here or hover on the icon here and click on settings so that will open up this tab and uh, there is a tab for the configurator plugin itself and this is another tab for the add-on which is the request to code add-on here so your license key that must have been in the email that we sent to you right after you purchased you could totally paste that in here uh, as you can see i've done that earlier so you can see that it says uh, my plug is already active uh, the recipient email here represents uh, the email addresses or if you like just one email address the email address that would be notified when your customer tries to request the quotes uh, here's the mail sender's name the mail's title you could totally customize this other options out and right after you've done that the next step would be to um, go to the configuration the concern configuration actually here on my test set, I have the uh, bicycle demo here that I am using. So you can see this is a fully um, configurable product over here with uh, three key components. So what you want to do is come here and click on yes for the option that asks to enable the request to code option. My default is turned to no, but you'd have to uh, click yes here and then update your settings. And what that does on your configuration page, if we refresh quickly, is that the product here is available. This is the configurable product. So we select my size, select the room color, and I could request a quote. So the customer gets to fill in their names, their company, the email address, the phone number, and then click on this button here to complete the process. Thank you for watching. In another video tutorial, I will be showing you how to customize these fields. Thank you once again. Bye-bye.